Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the fourth tutorial in the series of tutorials on CSS and in this tutorial we are going to talk about attribute selectors in CSS. So as you can see I have a file opened up in my text editor. It's called attribute underscore selectors dot html. Inside the document I have uh, the head and the body sections. Inside the head section I have the text attribute selectors between title tags and uh, in the style section I have a rule for the input element in HTML and uh, you know this is a different rule we haven't seen something like this in the course till now so I have the name of the element input and then within square brackets I've typed in type is equal to text so the input tag could you know take in several values you know its type could be radio its type could be checkbox so if suppose you want to create a rule that only applies to those fields which take in text values then you have to use you know this kind of a rule and you know this selector is known as an attribute selector in CSS so the rule itself is very simple I'm again changing uh, the value of the color property to orange so the default value is black I'm changing it to orange and uh, then inside the body section I have a paragraph which uh, has a text please enter your details below and uh, then there is another paragraph which uh, displays the text first name and then also shows a text box right so I'm using the input tag in HTML to create this text box and the type of course is text and the name of this field is first so you know you don't have to pay much attention to this you know this is basic HTML and then I've closed the input tag as well as the paragraph tag so I'm going to show you the output of this document in uh, a browser I'll go to the folder in which I've saved the file double click on the file to open it so you know this is the text from the first paragraph this is the text from the second paragraph and of course I see the text field here so if I would click inside this text box and type in any text you know if I type in my name then I would see that you know the text appears in orange it doesn't appear in black and if suppose I change the color here to blue and save the file and refresh it in my browser and type in my name here you would see that it now appears in blue and not in orange right so this is what attribute selectors in CSS are and I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. I'll see you in the next video in which we'll discuss another important feature of CSS and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.